Hello friends and welcome to a new day. Jesus is Lord and his Lordship is forever. Just go ahead and appreciate him. Go ahead and give him praise and glory. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the praise. There is no one like him. He has set the earth upon the waters. He has laid the foundations of the earth by his power. Somebody help me appreciate him. It's entirely a new day. <laughs> Lord, thank you. <laughs> we are super grateful. We've come to appreciate you. <laughs> Lord, we want to say a big thank you to you <laughs> for sparing our lives to see a new day. For the free oxygen. <laughs> we want to say thank you. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you to this new day. And we want to say we love you. How beautiful you are. And blessed be the name of our Father. And we worship with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today is day 165. Of spirit praise and spirit praise comes your way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for God all day. So briefly this morning, we take our Bible reading from Hebrews 13 verse 6. And the Bible says, So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Now hear me, friends. God's love is unconditional and unquestionable. And daily, He wants you to live with the assurance of His love. His love for you provides the divine security you need all the way in your journey with Him. Now listen, God's desire is that you live and move with the understanding that God is there for you always as your helper. In Hebrews 13 verse 5b, just the same chapter we read, He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. This assurance is enough for you to go through the valleys and the mountains, you know, and all the terrors and the threats of life. Even when the enemy would want to bring depression, it's important for you to know that he is with you always. And the promise is sure, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's why the Bible says in Psalm 46 verse 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. So even in the time of adversity, in the time of trouble, He's present with you. In Matthew 28 verse 20, the Bible says, For lo, I am with you always, even unto the close of the age. Just before we pray, friends, I want to assure you this morning that He is with you. And He wants you to have the knowledge and the understanding that He is your helper. So you can dial His number anytime for help. Even in the time of danger, He will respond. And also for you to know that you are untouchable. Because there is nothing any man can do unto you. Let me hear your amen. If you are a believer, there is need for you to believe his word. Because God's promises are yea and amen. If he says there is nothing any man can do to you as his child, then there is nothing any man can do to you. If any man tries to violate his command, now hear me, he knows how to handle such cases. As he did <laughs> at the monumental Red Sea. <laughs> and God is saying this morning, <laughs> his desire is that you should be able to say <laughs> and say it boldly. <laughs> he wants you to declare it boldly. The Lord is my helper. Somebody say after me, the Lord is my helper. <laughs> I will not fear. <laughs> that is the word of God. Say it again. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. In Jesus' matchless name we declare. Amen. Let us pray. Now before we proceed with our prayer. <laughs> I want to pray for someone who has listened to this broadcast. <laughs> and you want to say, Lord Jesus, here I come. <laughs> if you need his help, <laughs> then you must surrender your life to him. <laughs> because he is the owner of your life. <laughs> Can you just, wherever you are, <laughs> place your right hand on your chest this morning. <laughs> and say after me, if you are a backslider, please join them. <laughs> and say after me, my father, I come to you. <laughs> I need your help. <laughs> I'm a sinner. <laughs> Lord Jesus, <laughs> please forgive me. <laughs> come into my heart. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. And give me the capacity to live for you all the days of my life. Thank you for serving me. But we prayed with thanksgiving. And we know it is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I declare and declare that this decision shall forever remain permanent. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you just made this prayer, I would like you to contact me. The details are on the screen. Huh. Let me have your name and where you connected from. God bless you and keep standing for Jesus.
Friends, let's go. We are going to make the declaration in the realm of the spirit. And we are going to come in the tongues of the angels. And we are going to say, God, you are my helper. Somebody help me say, God, you are my helper. I say, make it in the realm of the spirit. Go in the tongues of the angels. If the devil has the gifts of interpretation, let him interpret. If he doesn't have the gift of interpretation, let him keep quiet. The Bible says there is nothing any man can do to you. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Lord, we give you all the glory. <laughs> we give you all the praise. <laughs> Thank you for being our helper. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for being there for us. And because you are with us, there is nothing any man can do unto us. We give you thanks. Thank you, our Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. And I declare and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast that God will remain your helper. And your hiding place from today and forevermore. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you, our Father. Be thou glorified. Be thou exalted. But we know it is settled. We pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go rule your day. Partnership with the Holy Spirit.